Hello, Twitch chat, YouTube, welcome to second vintage showcase of 2022. Um, first one, we were just a little short this time. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really get to prep very much for the showcase. I've been spending all week trying to get ready for the set championship, aka Pro Tour, aka not Pro Tour. Uh, that will be next weekend. My deck list for that is due tomorrow at 3 a.m. So uh, I've been spending most of my time on Arena. I actually hit top 50 mythic on arena for whatever that's worth i think not very much uh, but it was pretty fun actually i have a really cool deck that i i think my community will enjoy for historic anyways um so i'm pretty happy uh actually about this pro tour i've got some cool things happening i don't know if my deck's actually good but it's really fun and that's what matters um so yeah i didn't get to prep for this very much so when i have a vintage tournament and i have low prep I usually just default to some kind of PO deck. Um, the one I have in front of you today is Esper 2019 PO style. Uh, I do think Lavinia is quite good right now. I think Teferi is also pretty reasonable right now. I don't think there's like a huge amount of Pyroblast in the metagame. And Lavinia and Teferi are very good uh, in Tinker Mirrors, as is Karn. So basically, I'm playing a uh, Esper PO deck that is pre-boarded for the Mirror. Uh, or, or mirrors in general. So I have two dress down, one Lavinia, one Teferi, one Karn as your flex slots. Um, and then you have just like a sm smattering of white spells, um, anti-graveyard hate, uh, anti-combo hate, anti-shop hate in the board. So nothing like crazy in here. This is just a very stock Justin style PO list. Um, the only thing that chat has already brought up is why am I playing Sphinx of the Steel Wind and not play Silk Colossus after I said Sphinx of the Steel Wind should never be played anymore? Um, really, it comes down to I have over I overestimated how much play Besaju would see. I thought Besaju would see a fair or a large amount of play, and it just turns out that like these fair green decks can't fit many of them in their deck, and also a lot of the fair green decks just aren't very good. Um, and against a lot of the fair green decks, you're not even boarding in Blake Steel anyways because of Oko and Dak Fade in and, and, and all of these other things. Um so I actually think keeping in Sphinx, which does die to Blight Steel or does die to uh Besaju, but is still pretty good against like these bug and rug decks, where it is as it's also very good against like the uh the vine decks. Um I think it's still worth it to have uh a Sphinx. Where, because Blight Steel is like only really amazing in the shops matchup, uh, and, and I think the shops matchup is just fine. Like you're a four Hercules recall deck, traditionally PO versus shops has always been very reasonable. Um, so I think I would rather just like risk this getting besaged and have it be more useful uh, than play a Blight Steel. So yeah, I mean that's that's the whole shebang. Like I said, I I, I have been just grinding arena. Uh, non-stop for the past week, so I have not played very much Vintage. I did <laughs> I did 3-2 a league with this deck uh, just to get my 1QP to play. Uh, however, I don't even know how many of my opponents in that league were real people. I think mul multiple of them were win traders, so um, didn't really go well, that league. <laughs> it did get a nice Twitter screenshot, though, of a nice turn one tinker hand with double counter spell backup, so... All right, let's just jump right in. We got round one ready for us. We got Jesse on the other side, and we're about to play a seven-round vintage showcase. We're at 118 players, and the cutoff for next round was 129. So we're at seven rounds, and we're looking for a 6-1 or better. Let's do it. That's a good hand. Uh, keep. I'm just going to fetch um, an Underground Sea and go Sapphire Time Walk. And then I will uh, Sapphire Time Walk Pearl, the sequencing around Trap. And then on the next turn, I will Demonic for something Ancestral, but could be Tinker if I hit another Mana Source. I'm going to calm down a little bit too because I was rushing here. I, my opponent is F6, so they do like to play um, shops from time to time. Interesting. 
All right. Well, I think I'm going to change my plan here. And I am just going to slam Karn. And then I could like Tinker for, I could like next turn I could Demonic for Tinker. And I think, I think what I'm going to do is this, my opponent's F6. I think I'm going to just use this to get a needle in case my opponent needles my Karn. I think that's my plan. Let's see what happens. Obviously, this exposes my car into a lightning bolt, but I find it a little unlikely Jesse would be on lightning bolt after F sixing through my turns. But it could be. It could be. Yeah, it could happen. Yeah, I thought so. Hmm. Okay. So, looks like we have Tinker online here. Oh, even better. We don't have to use our land drop now. So, actually, how much mana do we have? Six mana? How much is Sphinx? Eight mana? Cool. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to go uh, Opal, Demonic, Tinker... Tinker my opal, put in a citadel, immediately brick. I think I will fetch. Because mm. they're going to have a lot of mana after they kill this Karn. Yeah, I think I'm going to fetch. Let me get a second underground seat because I have a pearl. <laughs> man, I am... <sighs> man. Magic the Gathering, huh? I even cut down the number of flusters in my main. Alright, what is the best way to do this? I guess I can needle... On Wasteland. Yes, yes, I yes, I am definitely making my Citadel into a 6-6. Six, six. I'm trying to think. There's no way my Karn can die if I have a Karn alive. I'm just trying to figure out the best needle target. I think it's just a wasteland. Because, I, I mean, I should win the game on the next turn, theoretically, but we'll have to see. Like, they could play multiple spheres here, and that would be pretty annoying. Sure. That can't attach the ginger brute, so that's good. Also, you can't activate the it can't be blocked, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So they don't really have an attack on Karn still. I mean, we just I mean we're we're very far ahead. We just need to not brick off as hard as we have so far. I am eating a uh, Irish pat. What is this called? Irish patty? Sausage patty? Hot sausage patty, eggs, rye bread, and home fries. All right. All right. That's that should be good. Um. PO should be better. Uh, 
Um, let me go get something with this Karn, because I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna stand up the... Oh, no, I'll just stand up this Citadel. And then I'm gonna pick up my Karn. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> I I I can say I've never had that one come up. That is that is a first for me. That's really funny though. That's fucking that's hilarious. Oh, that's so funny. Alright, let's draw past this, I guess. Nah, I'm just gonna PO again. <laughs> yeah i could do that too i mean it, it doesn't really matter which way you choose to pro progress from this situation like i'm gonna bounce my opponent's entire board like yeah that's the game is very very over Citadel should lose its... You know what? I have no idea what would happen. Dress Down's a weird card. So, so I would assume Citadel would stay a creature, but it would just lose all its abilities. So I believe it would be a 6-6 with no text, and I wouldn't be able to play any more spells. I could, of course, have, like, uh, PO'd back my Dress Down after I cast it, so I probably should have done that. I was just a little bewildered by the fact that it happened. But I did have a PO in my hand, so I could have definitely cast my dress down and, per and proceeded forward. Uh, didn't really play that very well in my mind, but I, like I said, I don't think it mattered too too much once we jammed a turn two Karn or turn one Karn against uh, shops. All right, so now we get to test if my theories on on shops are correct and are we good. So we get to bring in an ending, a Sphinx, uh, three Hercules recalls, a disenchant, a balance, a swords. Um, I like Lavinia on the play, but I don't like Lavinia on the draw very much. Uh, I want to have both of my, uh, Tinker targets. Don't really need Narset. Um, I'm not really sure how good Dressdown actually is here. Obviously, I don't need Flusterstorm or Mental Misstep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like a lot of a lot of weird things. Uh probe. Uh snapcaster. Yeah, this looks fine. Okay. Try again. That doesn't look like a hand we can keep. Yes, uh, I do keep Citadel even when Sphinx gets in. And the reason is a lot of your games are won by hurkling your opponent on the end of turn and untapping and comboing your opponent. Uh, Sphinx is not like an auto win, uh, but there are definitely situations where Citadel is an auto win, and there are definitely situations where you want to play a Citadel. Shops can't really stop a Citadel besides attacking your, like, your life total or your uh, ability to cast spells off the top. So that is a hilarious hand. <laughs> that's not true citadel is not too good to cut i definitely cut citadel in a lot of matchups not a lot of matchups in some matchups where i bring in sphinx but this is not one of the matchups where i cut citadel obviously we can't keep this hand against shops on the draw i mean this hand's good yeah definitely gonna put away this and i actually think i'm gonna put away the po yeah this looks reasonable this can definitely go very poorly for me. Did I have bring in a balance? Do I have a balance in my 75? Okay, I do. Sweet. Yeah, I've definitely had worse fives. Okay, wasteland. It's not even that bad. I can fetch an island and I have a... Okay, yeah. Okay. Those are nice draws. Wow, I get to just 
I should probably play around Mindbreak Trap, I would think. Hmm. Let's see if they F6th. They've been doing a lot of F6ing. Okay, they F6. I'm just not going to play around Mindbreak Trap then. The classic three mana disenchant your Lodestone. No, no, I was just going to disenchant Lodestone and play Ancestral. And that way I could keep going. I mean, there is merit to just resolving Ancestral right now. But... Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I could just disenchant this Lodestone and on their upkeep Ancestral as well. I think I can just play disenchant her Ancestral based on how they're F6. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna MTGO game it. I get to get another mox in before they play like a sphere. Yeah, I think that is probably the the riskiest line, but if my opponent's gonna F6, then I'm gonna take advantage of it. I think the other two lines are both acceptable. One being just Ancestral with Mindbreak Trap turned off because of Lodestone and two being uh, Disenchant the Lodestone and Upkeep Ancestral. I think both of those are fine. I have no problem with either of those lines. I mean, I'm super, super far ahead here. I think I'm just going to bounce this uh, Foundry Inspector. Yeah, all right, this game is over. Game is very, very over. Merchant. PO. PO for four. Game is over. A oh, man, PO is a hell of a drug. These were not remotely close games. I didn't even cast any Hercules recalls. I have four Hercules recalls in my. I guess technically I cast a Hercules recall in game one, but it didn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, this, this was a very powerful Mold of Five. That's a very prime example of why London Mulligan is completely broken in vintage, I would say. Uh, London Mulligan allows you to do some very silly things. No, oh, that's awesome. Mine Tamishi is like a very very cool card. I just don't like playing with Saga, so it's a little rough for me. That's a good way to start off this tournament. I'll take it. Round two, Vintage Showcase. OKMV. Okay, Last seen playing Bug. See if that's actually true or not. I've got you know a fairly reasonable hand. Let's try it. Kind of slow, kind of clunky, but. Powerful magic cards, so. Okay. Doesn't really represent much. That definitely represents not bug, though. Oh, Ancestral on my upkeep, huh? That's a little bit better than me having to fetch for Ancestral here. <sighs> And on color Moxon. And now I draw the force. Sad day. All right. Well, I'm going to go. I was going to go Merchant Scroll for Ancestral, but now I'm just going to go Demonic for Tinker. And if they don't hold open something, they will lose. And if they do hold open something, I can just play top and look for a fluster. But I think Tinker makes the most sense here. I guess there's something to be said about getting like a Teferi or an Ancestral is reasonable, a Narset is reasonable. Uh, depending on how fair their deck is, like getting a Mentor can be pretty reasonable. But I'm just going to get a Tinker and see if we can maneuver around something like a Pyroblast or a Flusterstorm. Uh, the fact that I have Force of Will beating Force of Will, Force of Negation, and Pyroblast is like a nice start. Obviously, I have no really way to beat a Flusterstorm. So we have to consider that, but. It's a preordain, I assume. Oh, Brainstorm, sure. Yeah. This is like kind of a greedy demonic, I would say, but I also think it's not unreasonable. Tinker's like the best thing my deck can be doing, so trying to resolve Tinker makes a lot of sense. Brainstorm, fetch, yeah. 
The question will be, do we end up jamming our tinker into an open blue-red land? Not an open blue-red land? Oh. All right, well, now we're definitely jamming. They went bottom-bottom. This is a good sign. I mean, this could brick, and my opponent could dac in my citadel, but... I don't know. Like, whatever. <laughs> you got a jam. They have force. Pitching preordain. I have force. Perching scroll. Do you have a third? Do you have another force? Second force? Nope. All right. If I hit a moxin, I can play a top, and we will win. If I don't, then we have some problems. I hate this game. I've had zero, zero, zero citadels. <laughs> These citadels are so bad for me. My opponent just daxed my citadel here. Hundo percent. <laughs> Man. Tinker is such a bad card. Citadel is terrible. <laughs> oh, man. I have like a really, I mean, it's not the best, but is this going to be mystical? All right. <laughs> Double brick. <laughs> I'm just going to keep flustering shit. <laughs> this truck treasure cruise. Gosh, I'm just going to keep flustering until I have. Stuff I can do here. I just have to not get dacked. I really just have to not get dacked. <sighs> oh, that's not a dack. Is that a Narset? Narset's not even bad, though. Narset's not even bad. We'll see how this goes. Right, that should do it, I would say. Uh, so, this is unfortunate. That's our way to answer Narset. <laughs> and I can't draw into it. So, I think I just bounce this pearl for a life. Or do I bounce my own opal for an extra mana? Probably just bounce my opal for an extra mana. Yeah, I could attack Narset with the Karn. That is totally a valid option. I'm just trying, like, it costs a lot of mana to do that, and I'm trying to figure out if that is the play that makes the most sense. It might be. It might be. I think I'm going to play the top well, I can't even draw into... I guess I could spin into a force. Okay, I'm going to play the top before I do this play. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about my opponent having found a force of will. Maybe they couldn't have found a force of will because they would have had it on their last turn. This Karn has been very good for me. Achievement unlocked. All right, yeah, I mean, now we're very much winning. Uh, I'm just going to draw through four life. For now. Probably not playing a land because I want to play this academy. Yeah, now we're winning. Whee! Oh, Citadel, man. Hell of a magic card, even when you brick off horribly. <laughs> All right, let's 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 do the winning now.
All right. I'm only saying this because there's a lot of worlds where my opponent just slams a Dak Faden right there. And it ends up being, like, very bad for me. Like, I lose the game. <laughs> uh, it didn't end up happening. But it could totally have happened. All right, so we're actually playing against Jeskai, which is not a good matchup for 2019 Esper Pio. Um, funnily enough, you don't actually want Lavinia because of Pyroblast. Um, you don't really want a lot of things, unfortunately, because you just line up so badly. But we can play an extra Flusterstorm. We can play a Prismatic Ending. Um, could play a Balance, technically. Not sure how good a Balance is. Probably just want to go on four Flusterstorms. Get to take out an Island in this matchup. Don't need an Island. Seems reasonable. Could always like take out a dress down and play more cards, but <laughs> well, this is a bad Jeskai matchup for sure. It always has been. It's not an unwinnable Jeskai matchup, but it's not a good one. I think I would rather have a sword than a dress down. I think I also would rather have a balance. I do think that this is a little bit better constructed than some of my previous Esper builds, though, against Jeskai. Like, I have a Teferi. is quite good in the matchup. Obviously, it gets Pyroblasted, but... My whole deck gets Pyroblasted. Um, yeah, this is not bad. Obviously, that's missing some key pieces, but no, there is not a lot of Pyroblast running around, which is why I chose to play this deck. Unfortunately, I sometimes you just queue into the Jeskai player, and that happens. Even in the 1-0 bracket, you know, sometimes it just happens. And they've had <laughs> they've had Moxin in both games. Note it, Slasher. Slasher, you must note it. The fair blue magic player has Moxin in their two to three color Moxin deck in both games. <laughs> It's a reoccurring theme that I'm not happy about. But this was a good draw, so I am I am fairly happy. Prismatic ending, mental misstep. I definitely want mental misstep. So I'm going to definitely float mental misstep on top and then go for just slam some POs, slam some Karns, slam some whatevers. Should be fun. Obviously, Dak Faden's really bad for me here. But, again, not much I can do about it. Just as bad for me. Dark Faden is not bad for me if I can get to another turn and I can, like, hold open PO. There's something to be said about jamming Karn next turn as well. Turn off their Moxin. Uncounterable. Not uncounterable, but it's hard. An expressive iteration off of their Ruby on turn two. <sighs> yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one expressive iterations never look so good hmm they hit a swords to plowshares that is not the best magic the gathering card though they <laughs> have a pearl okay I'm slamming Karn here they have more Moxin than me. That's like cheating. So they have to have a Force here to stop a Karn, whereas they could have a Flusterstorm or a Pyroblast to stop Pio. That's the nice part about Karn, is that it's colorless and not Pyroblastable. I right, got rid of a Dig Through Time. All right, so they have two cards left in their hand. Hopefully we have exhausted them of resources. Blue, blue mentor. No, no, that's restricted. I don't have enough colors on my prismatic ending yet. <laughs> the 
This card's restricted, I swear. Uh... Okay, taxi and probe, huh? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to draw a prismatic ending, and then I need to spin for a land or something that I can get a third mana color. But I can't draw it this turn because of Narsa. Lost another flip. Probably should just use a colored mana there. Oh, no, we're actually just dead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Uh, maybe I was supposed to P.O. on their turn to draw one card. I felt like spinning and trying to find a colored source was a better use. Mm. Mm, very bad. Oh, they hit a fluster storm as well. That's going to make my life difficult. So the Dak Faden, holy crap. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll take my mana crypt. Unlucky. It's amazing that my Jeskai opponent has Metal Graph turned on right now. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, 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 yeah. They play uh, four, four artifacts. They play Black Lotus and three colors of Moxon. Oh my lord! Now I'm, I am missing too many colors now, though. So I probably just have no game anymore. I don't really know what I would do to get out of this situation here. I think, uh, I think it just was not a winnable match. The restricted Narset strikes again. Yeah, this deck is a bad Jeskai matchup, but Jeskai is not a real deck. I didn't expect to play it in the 1-0 matchup, you know? It happens. I also have drawn Abysmal. Like, just hitting fetch lands would let me do a lot of things. Discarded Black Lotus. What a world. And they get to go Mystic Sanctuary for Expressive Iteration. Yeah. We have to play it out, unfortunately, because my opponent's deck can't win the game in sufficient timing, typically. So I gotta let them do the thing. Like, they have exactly one card in their deck that wins the game. It's Mentor. So... You gotta let them fiddle around for a while. Oh, you have Gush as well? Sheesh. Well, now they're going off. Blue combo, I swear. <laughs> I've lost so many flips. <laughs> it's crazy. An iteration is just not a good card. It's very hard to cast. I mean, I, I, I should say this in a better way. Iteration is not an easy card to cast, which makes it not castable most of the time. <laughs> it is obviously 
uh, when you cast it, a good magic card. But you need to cast it without using a land drop, and like typically, it's just too hard to cast. Like it looks pretty good when you're you draw on color Moxin, but. For the most part, it's just uh, not worth it, yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to have to ending that. I lost all of my flips. Why? <laughs> it's crazy. This currently beats Flusterstorm is the reason I'm doing it. Uh, they also have an Ancestral in their hand, so they can play two Ancestrals. Well, now it doesn't beat Flusterstorm. I guess if they have all of this stuff. <laughs> I'm stupid. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess Opal was a spell. Well, I had Mental Mist up, so I had one, two, three plus Mental Mist up. Oh, boy, are we, are we Ancestral? Putting Ancestral on top with our Sanctuary? Oh, no, we're going, we're gushing. We're going even deeper. My opponent is true fair blue combo deck right now. No. Fuck your monkey. I will not I will not accept any monkeys. I guess you can have a monkey. Oh my god. <laughs> They're still so bad. <laughs> my cards are still so bad. I should have floated this when uh the monkey hit me so that I could let them take the first card and then spin again after, but I I don't know. It just doesn't matter. The game is the game is over. We're just Waiting till my mana crypt kills me. Ah, <sighs> yeah. All right, I mean, this game ended like the turn they played Dak Faden. Unfortunately, my top has had nothing on, nothing good underneath it. Oh, is this a lightning bolt? No. Why was why was I so happy? <laughs> the game could have ended. Um maybe possible. I won a flip by the way. <laughs> it just always hurts to see your three moxin opponent with two moxin and you have no moxin. It's pain. Strictly pain. I've only been outdrawn by 20 cards in this game, so it was pretty close, I say. Both teams fought hard. Narset is dumb. I've had to kill Narset with Citadel today. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe I do want Dress Downs. Nah. Or maybe I'll go one Opal down, one Dress Down in. Yeah, that's probably fine. I'll take mine too.
Yeah, put it in the fridge, please. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was more like a one-two because I played against two win traders, but it was. I don't think this deck is particularly good, but I'm willing to jam. So this is a pretty cool hand. This is just a, a Tundra Sapphire Vault up past the turn PO. I do remember when Narset wasn't restricted. It was a bad time. It was I had to play Rug PO at a Paper Eternal weekend. I had to play Grape Shot in my PO deck <laughs> because Narset existed. Those were those were terrible times. Ah, yeah, unrestricted Narset was just bad, 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 bad. This is a pretty good hand, though, in terms of hands against Jeskai. Mental misstep is pretty strong against them. So definitely going to play around uh, Trap and Negation and just go for a PO for two on their upkeep. A little Divination action. Okay. Yeah. That vibes. It's not the worst draws. Uh, no, you don't even need to play wheels. You just play Narset because it's broken. <laughs> Another land is definitely not a draw we were looking for. Definitely would rather have seen another Mox in there instead of a land. All right. I don't have much to do here. I mean, the best draw for us is Tinker, as usual, but Mentor is pretty reasonable as well. Karn's fair. Uh, yep. I think it's better to deploy these cards than to hold them. It gives me more mana to cast spells and play around flusters and that kind of thing. It's kind of unfortunate we don't have more gas, but I do be like that sometimes. Okay. Playing against Jeskai. <laughs> I will play this now. I have enough mana that I think it's worth it. Okay. It might be good enough. Like, Mentor plus three counter spells might just be good enough to beat Jeskai. It's totally possible. <sighs> okay, no play. Seven cards in our opponent's hand. Mystical Tutor, huh? I don't think I can attack. If they have a hole breacher, it's pretty bad for me. Snapcaster is not bad for me, but hole breacher is pretty bad for me. I'm just going to pass one more time here. They kept in swords. We saw swords last game. I'm going to crack in their upkeep here. Okay. I will definitely end of turn mystical, so. I just think I don't want to play into like a whole reacher there. I think that would, like, I, I guess it's not the end of the world. Like, I have to force it, but. I mean, if I can play on their end step, I would much rather do that. 
mean, this looks pretty good for us. Like, I get to go, like, if Mystical Tutor resolves, I'm going to get a PO or a Tinker, right? Three Volcanics? Is this just a Shattering Spree? That's a, like a sign of desperation. Oh, a Graph Digger's Cage. I don't care about that in any capacity. You have a Graph Digger's Cage. Congratulations. I'm gonna go get a PO. Mentor is like one of the single best cards against these kind of fair blue matchups. It's a card that obviously went away for a long time, but a mental misstep on my Mystical Tutor. I don't know if that's something I actually want to fight over. Mental Misstep is at a premium right now. It blocks Swords, Bolt. But I think it's still worth it because of the position we're in. I probably don't need to mental misstep there. I think it's totally reasonable to not mental misstep, but I think it's not bad to mental misstep, so... This is a Pyroblast. I think I'll definitely let the Pyroblast happen. Yeah, that's okay with me. That's not a good draw. I don't have, I only have one more fetchable, so I'm going to fetch now so I don't draw. Don't draw my fetchable and then have no lands to fetch. Swords. Their own mentor. That's definitely a way this can end poorly. Mono Pyroblasts the hand. Mentor strikes again in 2022, just like it did three years ago. <laughs> As for 2019 Esper Pio versus Chess Guy in the year 2022. My opponent kept an all Pyroblast hand, and I just had the white card. <laughs> you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Here we go, round three. Vintage Showcase, we're up against Pringles, who, uh, if you remember from the last challenge video, top aided with P.O., uh, has been top aiding a bunch with P.O. recently, so we got a nice P.O. mirror here. As I always say, the P.O. mirror is um, very volatile. It's very hard to gain edges in the P.O. mirror. However, we do have some nice things like Lavinia's and Teferi's, which are quite good in the P.O. mirror, so we'll see if those help us gain any kind of edges. Uh, we also have Dress Down if they play like a Saga, uh, but those Saga just, like, just kind of doesn't matter too much, so... Uh, but this hand's great, obviously. We've got a Ten Academy, two artifacts, and Ancestral and a PO, so I can't ask for much more than this. <sighs> what do we got? One Mox. One Soul Ring. One Top. One spin. Okay. Do you have a Saga? Do you have a Talarian Academy? Do you have... What do you got? 
I'd like to see a saga here. Um, a saga would represent no fluster storm, in case we can resolve a, a, an ancestral. Nope, unfortunate. My opponent did not play a saga. So now that's a good draw. That's a very good draw. Because now we can ancestral on their upkeep and beat a uh, fluster storm very easily. Huh. So I technically can PO as well. I think I'm going to Ancestral just so I can find. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go in Ancestral on their upkeep. Hmm. Now I'm going to just Ancestral now. Okay, that's a good draw. These weren't good draws, obviously, but the Force of Will was a good draw. If I remember correctly, Pringles is on Esper Pio with Saga. Snapcaster, Mentor, Narset, Karn, four repeal. Ah, ah, four repeal. Oh, it's blue white. It's not Esper. It's a uh, Fanoop style. Okay. Only one Flusterstorm in the main, though. So four Saga, four repeal. Looks like this is just PO. Which we have covered. Awesome. And a fluster, I guess, would be the good off of here. Mana Crypt is also good. All right, that should just be game. All right. P.O. Mirrors, everybody. P.O. Mirrors. All right, so we do have access to another Lavinia, which we will definitely board in. We have access to two more Flusterstorms, which we will board in. Um, Disenchant is a nice one. And I think that's it. Cards that are not as good. I don't think you need a Hercules Recall when you have Dress Down, Flusterstorm, and Disenchant. I think you don't need an Island. Um, what else is not great? Uh, yeah, we actually look very... We have a lot more cards for the mirror than our opponent does. They have four repeals, though, which are pretty nice. But we have a lot more cards for the mirror. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to take out, though, here. Maybe we don't really need a repeal. Obviously, we will have no super good outs to Karn at that case, but I think that's okay. And then... Another card... Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Damn right. 
we in 2019? Um, I do think you can build Esper PO for any metagame for what it's worth, and I've said that in the past. Or you can build PO for any metagame is maybe a better statement. Uh, it just so happens that I think this metagame is a, a Lavinia metagame. I have no idea what my last card to take out here is. None of the cards are, like, bad. <laughs> they all seem like totally reasonable cards to have in the matchup. Maybe I'll just take out the Mystical. It's probably fine. I do think that, I'm looking at my opponent's list, they have no Tutors, and they only have two Fluster Storms. So I really like what we have. Like, they're, they're a lot more geared to beat the field than they are to, be to beat the Mirror. I definitely am always going to keep this hand against P.O. The problem with this hand is it's not very good against Saga, but we could maybe draw into it. Like, I'm just never going to mulligan a Force of Will hand against P.O., so... Okay, Academy, Opal, Soul Ring again. Oh, Ancestral. Man, their hand looks really anemic. I kind of want to just force it. Maybe I'll just force pitching Snapcaster Mage. That's a sick draw too. Just gonna go get a, a under, uh, underground sea here. It's gotta be one of the best draws in the deck, yeah. I mean, Tinker is probably the best draw, but that's always the case. <laughs> okay, what do you got for us? A key? Yeah, you got a key. Oh, what up, Buttercup? Appreciate the Prime. P.O. Disenchant. Hell yeah. So I currently don't have a Flusterstorm beat. I think I might just draw... Disenchant for the turn. Because ah. I can go Lotus, Opal, PO for t three total with a, f with a Fluster Storm up, but it's just like if I Fluster Storm, they have an Academy, so they're just going to pay the one extra. Right? They Fluster Storm, I Fluster Storm back, and they pay for one of them, and I'm actually out. On that Flusterstorm battle. I could just disenchant the key right now. In which case they lose a mana. And a key. I don't really know how good that is. Stops them from playing, like, a Narset, though. But there's just so many draws that make it a bad play. I think I'm going to draw a Disenchant, but I don't think I'm going to cast it. Like, if they play a Saga, I probably want to Disenchant it. I mean, I obviously... <laughs> I definitely get punished... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. My opponent has infinite mana now. This is three, four, five, six, seven. If I disenchant this pearl, it's actually only one, two, three, four, and it turns off force of will. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to do that.
like obviously if their second to last card here is fluster if they have po and fluster storm i i get got but um if it's just po like i can just force it i can even draw into this and force it with fluster storm so i don't know if that actually has enough mana to work They have snap. They have... Okay. This is a dig through time. Interesting. So I have a PO on top of my library here. If I force this pitching PO, I can beat Flusterstorm. If I force this pitching Flusterstorm and they force Fluster back, they prob I probably resolve PO. Yeah, I'm just going to force this. Okay. And then we're jamming. Draw three. Wow, that was close. Was certainly close. Uh, I really would love to have played this Narset this turn. Okay. They have exactly four mana, so I could fluster a PO. Um, they chose not to shuffle. I think I'm going to spin, even though it exposes me here, because I want to be able to play a Narset. I see. That's not exactly what I wanted to see. I think I have to just jam it here. I really need to clear my top. They have Fluster is what they drew off of the Clonder. And they have two mana. So I just uh, lose this battle, I guess. Okay. It's what I, I kind of thought was going to happen, but I didn't really have any recourse for it. They do know what their top three cards are, so they know what they're drawing these turns. Maybe they'll draw PO now, and I can fluster it. Yeah. They already used Ancestral, so this kind of has to get PO. Or I guess it could get Force. I guess it could get Repeal. Interesting game, actually. Very interesting game. I really needed to clear my top two cards. Hopefully like, the third card down is a Moxin. If the third card down is a Moxin and we can spin into it, and then like a non-Opal Moxin, and then we can play an Arset with Luster Storm, that would just probably be... Pretty close to game ending. That's why I really wanted this Ancestral to resolve. They got Mystical Tutor. That's interesting. Um, so I'm okay with they resolve a Mystical Tutor right now. I really need to spin. Oh my gosh. Well, this Lotus, this, this Yawgmoth will, will be game winning at some point. I guess I'm just going to have double Fluster. 
Okay. So now do I turn off the Mystical Tutor? Probably. Probably just counter the Mystical Tutor. It also makes it so they... Oh, they already shuffled. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to counter this. I don't know if it's, I have to counter this, but uh, I feel good about countering it. Obviously, they could draw Time Vault at any time and kill me as well. The nice thing is we still have PO covered. All right, now we don't have PO covered. Now they have infinite mana. <laughs> All right. I need to see a, a, a Moxin that's not an Opal. Please. Yes. Oh, their last card is Force? This is not enough, right? They use this mana to untap and they have five mana, so they can just pay for my flush. <laughs> ah! Okay. Narset next turn. I, they have to brick here. I need I need them to brick for one turn. That's a brick. Yeah, that's a brick. Saga's always a brick. I know there's a PO. Should still probably just go grab it. God, I love when people put Saga in their deck. It's like much worse than a preordain right now. They can still hit here. They could still draw a PO here. I do have like spin for force though, which is nice. I mean, there are definitely worse cards to draw than Saga, but Saga was definitely a brick that we were looking for them to hit there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll spin here. I will spin here. To Fairy and a land. Hmm. What do I want to do with that? I don't really want it to Fairy. So I guess I'll just take a fetch land and we'll dig through the rest. What do they have? Huh. I can just PO in response to this. I'm just going to PO. I don't know. Huh. <sighs> Is that a Citadel? It's not a Citadel.
All right, so now Saga makes a token. Saga makes two tokens. Saga finds top. Hmm. This just got really hard. It was not exactly a very good PO. Saga. Teferi bounce Saga. Saga makes a token. Token kills Teferi. It's probably still good. I can't play a Narset after, but I have a billion forces so it's probably fine Teferi looks pretty reasonable here I just wanted to combo kill my opponent on this turn but it just didn't happen the cards that we drew weren't strong enough but I think we're still in a good spot so Wow, that's like probably it's a draw. Hmm, I can spin a top with this. With a fetch land. Uh I haven't played a land yet, right? So, Academy, one, two, three, four mana, Narset. Then they have to kill Narset or Teferi. And then I draw Karn. Yeah, that should be good. Uh... I guess I just want at the top because I have a citadel. Karn is less good. Cause I'm just planning on citadeling next turn, right? I guess a PO is probably just best. Well, if they draw a Narsa, I counter it. Probably a PO is best. They have to kill the Narset with this construct, and I have a counter, and I have... Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, wow, Teferi was pretty sweet there. We didn't even play any Lavinia's. I like my build. I really like my build for today. I think I did a lot of things right in the deck construction here. I'll take it. All right. 3-0 going into round four of this vintage showcase event. The 3-0 bracket is stacked out of its mind. Eggy, Misstep, Vertex, Dinglis, Senpai, Urza, Teravad, Slasher, Musasabi. It's a, it's, a, it's a banger up here in the 3-0 bracket. We have, of course, been paired against Vertex, who is on... Probably Doomsday, if I had to guess. Uh, let's see what we can do here. That's... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a hand. That is definitely a hand. That is definitely a hand. Looking for a mana draw off the top. Could always do an Ambush Viper, but I think holding uh, two blue forces is ideal. Especially if my opponent casts Preordain here. They did not cast Preordain here, which means they get to hold up Fluster, which makes my life more difficult. I think I still don't play Ambush Viper. <laughs> ah, yes, that is a classic. Classic bad draw. How much I can do about it? All right, what you got for me? That's a preordain, I think. 
Is this a magic card? Jeez. Okay. They went bottom bottom. Definitely holding up Flusterstorm. If this was a blue card, I would probably play Ambush Viper here, but because it's not, I'm just going to... Alright, here we go. So I'm not going to cast Tinker because I do not want to get Flusterstormed. What I'm going to do is instead cast Demonic. Which resolves... I have a lot of options now. I could just get my own fluster, so I have an extra protection on their turn. And then if I draw a land, I have a fluster on my turn. I could just get a Black Lotus, so I will be able to play around fluster more easily. Uh, I could get... I think I'm just going to get a Flusterstorm. Obviously, it doesn't play super well with my current Tinker, but it definitely helps me not die. I don't think it's crazy. Do I want to Fluster a Vamp? Not really. I doubt my opponent can kill me through double force fluster, but I, I don't know. It's Doomsday. Maybe they can. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd let a Doomsday resolve here, though. I can get Crypt. That's totally un it's totally reasonable. I'm pretty sure I'm just letting this Doomsday resolve. Getting full information first here. All right, time to pull up their list and map this shit. Doomsday's card disadvantage, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> uh, Matt Murray would be proud of me letting this one resolve. All right, get out the notepad. I sure hope we don't lose to Doomsday here with this being our hand. I think that would be pretty crazy. I... Alright. So... Lotus... Ancestral... Gosh. Lotus, Ancestral, Gush. Oracle, Oracle. One force. Two force, three force, one force. Um, how many fluster? Uh, one, two, three, maybe no fluster. How many days? One, probably a days. Uh, one, two, three, a street wraith. A ritual. Okay, so that's nine. So that's their hand. 
So even if their hand is a uh, street wraith after this, I have two forces and a fluster. So I would only lose if they had, there's no way to lose from here. So I just force this spell. And then tent tinker them. Or do I fluster this spell? So if I fluster this spell and then they gush and have days, counter, counter, it's still fine. So it's better to fluster this. I just tried to space bar through this because I've been playing so much arena. <laughs> Yeah, so they have Street Wraith into Gush. It's a nice pile. They have Days as well. No. Nice pile. It was a cool pile from Vertex. Alright, I mean, I still have to win off this. I should win, right? I should just Tinker, I assume. <laughs> I guess I cast this on nothing. Okay. Should I just hold this and go to the next turn? Probably not. So what did my opponent use? They still have... Ancestral, Gush, Wraith, And then C, C. So they still have Days, Force, Oracle, Oracle. I could... Hmm. Their Gush is probably Black Lotus, Oracle. So I could just pass a turn here. I think what I'm going to do is just end step this dress down. No, I should just let them... Like, if they have Oracle, they can't even use it, right? So there's... I'm just going to cast it on my end step, I guess. I don't think this does anything, though, because my opponent's going to have draw something here and have it be useless. And now I could lose to, like, days. Their hand is Dark Ritual C something. Dark Ritual C Oh my god, I didn't- I messed up? When was there a misstep? Wow, I messed that up pretty badly, huh? Crazy. Alright, well, I mean, it's fine. How did I miss that? Get it? Miss that? I have double time walk lethal now.
Wow, that was a little weird. I don't think I played that optimally. I think I played that fine, but I don't think I played that optimally. I definitely did not see missed up here. I don't know what I miscounted on. I miscounted somewhere, right? Because I had nine cards, didn't I? Whatever. Well, I just wanted to stop them from, like, I, I didn't think they could counter all the things. I just wanted to get to my turn, and I knew I would win from there, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm not really super happy with that game. I felt, I felt very flustered. We stopped at eight cards. Ah, uh, yeah. That's pretty bad. Could have, like, theoretically, that could have been a big deal. Well, no, the notepad list changed because there weren't C's. There was Wraith, and there was Ancestral, and there was Gush. That was that was nine cards, wasn't it? So where is the misstep come in here? They must not have two days in their deck. It must be they don't have two days in their deck, I guess. That's the only thing I can think of. Or maybe I counted wrong again. Like, that's possible as well. What is this? Go away. All right, we're bringing in a Lavinia. And we're bringing in third and fourth Fluster Storms. And we are taking out Hercules Recall. And we are taking out Repeal. Uh, and we're taking out Island. And... Keeping everything else. No, they definitely have four writ. No, it doesn't mean they have a writ in their pile. They could have had a writ. Oh, wait. Maybe I miscounted writ. Because the writ wasn't in their hand, and they wouldn't put a writ in their pile, right? Or was there a writ in their hand? What was left in their hand? It was C, misstep, and writ, right? I can't remember. Anyways, let's go play the next game. I did something wrong. I just don't know what it was. That was a really fun game where I got to let Doomsday resolve and let it be card disadvantage and then just murder them with forces. <laughs> I like the Demonic for Fluster. That went pretty well. Uh, yeah, this sounds great. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. Like that. Did I ever get that? Shouldn't I have gotten that from playing Magic the Gathering? Ah, I did get it. It's a sweet one. All right, my opponent chose not to shuffle their library. Oh, that's so cheating. All right. They get to see my hand. That is not a good one for them not to know about. Uh, I probably should have gotten a Tundra, but well. They have a misstep? I think I'm supposed to fluster this. Hmm. 
maybe not. I still have fluster up, and I'll be able to do snap fluster. <sighs> Fine. You got me. Misstep and probe. I object. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm holding this so I have a blue card for force though. So now I have snap fluster and blue card force and they don't know about that. So that's nice. If they play anything here, I'm pretty interested in snap fluster so I can get a clock. They're at 11. Preordain. Oh, I don't think I'm interested in flustering that. Bottom, bottom. Is Ambush Viper good enough right now? Down to nine? I don't think so. PO. All right, so now I'll probe. Now I get to cheat and look at your hand. Ha ha. Negation, negation, consult, dig. Interesting. Well, they can't really dig here. If they cast any spell there, I would have just snap fluster. They hit a land drop, so now they have negation console. Huh, this is starting to look bad. I think I need to hit Mox or something. Okay. They could just negate this if they want. Oh, that turns off Snap Fluster. Could just negate. I think that's still fine. I can't force because if I force, then they just force pitch back and then they consult for Doomsday. I guess if they just consult for... Yeah, this is fine. Whatever. Sure. They're negating because it's turning me off of Snap Fluster for a turn. So they could consult here and consult for something and then go dig plus something maybe. Like, I am turned off, technically, from Snap Fluster. They know two of my cards. They don't know if I have a blue card or not. They drew another land, so now they can dig with Negation back up. Wait. Did they just fail to find? They failed to find. So I should just force this, pitching snap. No, I should just force, it, force this, pitching PO. They boarded out the island on the... That makes sense. Just force this, pitch PO, which leaves them with negation, demonic. If I play a Snapcaster, it puts them to seven. They could consult for Demonic. I'm just going to force this Pitch PO.
I wonder if they'll console for a fluster. Looks like it. Console for Ancestral, sure. Let's see what happens. They consulted for Fluster, and they hit one Oracle, Energy Flux, multiple... They hit one Oracle. All right, so they're going to have a Dig plus a Negation. Uh... No, they hit two Oracles. Hold on, this is revealed and this is ex okay, so one oracle was exiled and one was revealed. They're just dead, right? I guess they could have a Merc Tide still. Should I snap in my put try flash in my ambush viper now? I mean I should have done this before they could find a force. I think they are out of oracles, so they have to like hard cast a street wraith, but they would have to find extra mana to do so. And they lost their jet, so they would have to find Sapphire or Black Lotus and cast Street Wraith, unless they have a Murktide in their deck. Uh-oh. <laughs> they have 12 cards in their library as well. Murktide could beat us here, for sure. I wanted to clock them. Hardcast Street Wraith. I saw an opposition agent get exiled. Seven cards left. All right. I know I am not thrilled with how I played that game either. But it was an interest. Those were those were very interesting Doomsday games. Honestly, when we don't die immediately to Doomsday, I think the games can be pretty interesting. Obviously, we got a we got lucky with opponent hitting both oracles on their console. They also hit, like, Opposition Agent, multiple Street Wraiths. I'll just take wins versus Doomsday, for sure. For sure. Alright, here we are. Fifth round. 4-0 with 2019 Esper Pia. We're up against the Zoomer. I'm gonna see if he'll uh, let me know what he's playing, since I know he was in the stream. Never obliged to do that, but always worth a shot. I mean, I'm keeping this hand regardless of what they're playing, so... <laughs> the last seen deck was Dredge. So, we want to play like we're playing around Dredge. I'm just going to keep this hand. It's always going to be good. Uh, I'm just going to go Island, Emerald, Vault, Go. Uh, this plays around Mind Break Trap, and it plays around Vigor. Uh, and then I may respond to a Bizarre Activation with a PO. I may just PO in this upkeep no matter what. I think I'm just going to PO in their upkeep no matter what. Okay. Bizarre? Any bizarre game? Oh, Windswept Heath. That is not Bizarre Gamer. I'm still pretty happy with the sequence I chose. This could have been really bad, though. They could have gone, like, Lotus Archon, and then I would have been very sad. Uh, all right. Time to deploy the fleet here. This time, I'm not playing around Trap. I'm just playing everything out. 
This is my bis my misstep bait. There was nothing to bait. Let's go take a quick peek at our top three. What do we see? Lavinia. But I don't have any white mana. <sighs> yeah. All right. Well, I can brainstorm into Lavinia here. It's probably still very good. Thanks. Yeah. Nice. Could get flustered here, but I think that would be fine as well. Maybe I'm supposed to keep one of those underground seas. I think uh, Lavinia is fine. Unless they have a swords in their hand, but. Maybe I'm supposed to keep an underground sea instead of a soul ring, though. I mean, I certainly have a billion mana right now. If I get collector roof, it's pretty bad for me, though. Maybe, I, yeah, I was probably supposed to keep us underground sea, not the soul ring. That was pretty bad. Is this ancestral? Okay. I guess I could spin and look for a mental mist up. That's actually not unreasonable. Interesting. No, I got rid of my underground seas so I don't have a black mana. God, I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Man. Crazy. Small mistakes, chat. Small mistakes. Oh, I got nothing. They have nine cards in hand. I can't imagine this goes well for me. Like, I seriously can't beat a collector roof here, right? <laughs> I'm going to have to ponder shuffle and then part of the cards it. Wasteland? Oof. Wasteland time walk. Oof plus Wasteland. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so dead to Van Archon here. Holy shit. <laughs> I have so many cards, but they don't matter at all. I guess I could just play Archon. Interesting. If I had a P.O. on top, that would be really bad play. I don't have a P.O. on top, right? I just have a Yogwill. Flux is so bad against uh, P.O., but I don't have a, another P.O., right? Like, this card is actively just, I don't think, a card you want against P.O. I don't have one. So, man, a Yogwill would also be insane if I had a Black Source. So if I had kept my Underground C, I would have just, like murdered my opponent i would have replayed my entire uh board and i would have yog willed and po'd and i would have won so i just i i threw away a one game right here that's crazy to me uh i mean it's still it's still pretty playable from this spot but it's gonna be a kind of annoying so what i can do is uh, I can let the mana vault go, and I can draw with top, and then I lose the uh, emerald, and it's not, and then I that's it. It's not a huge deal. Draw with top. Pay. Don't pay. Yeah, like, this is, like, a bad play, because if I had a PO spun on my top, I could just bounce my whole hand back to my... Uh, bounce my whole uh, board back to my hand. It's going to be really... I mean, if I can do something this turn, it would be... It would be ideal. Uh, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Really unfortunate that I just misplayed really badly by keeping a soul ring instead of an underground sea. I also think my problem my opponent, if they had like a collector roof, they should have played like collector roof wasteland. I don't know if they did have that, but 
What I can do is... <laughs> no, sorry, friend. Uh, mental misstep is no bueno here. Um, what I can do is if I hit a fetch land, I can get an underground C and then let some things die. Like, let thing let this pay for this and then let things die and then, and then uh, do it. But that would require another turn, which is really tough. So, yeah, I mean, that's what we're going to try to do anyways. Wait, 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 wait. I can draw... I can draw Delta and Yogg... Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have let the... One of these die and paid for something so I could have had enough mana to Yogg Will if I drew exactly... I mean, I had to draw exactly a lot of things, right? I mean, this is the new plan, but I just don't know if it's, like, really viable, considering um, my opponent gets to use Wasteland and play, like, a something. I mean, it's definitely a metagame where main deck Flux makes sense. Flux is actually very good against the Saga decks, like, the blue Saga decks. This Collector Oof. Archon. Well, that fucking sucks. Archon is a problem here. Archon is definitely a problem. Yeah, I, I just misplayed. I, this game was an absolutely one game. I just needed to keep an underground C instead of a soul ring, and I and I just completely I flubbed it. I think my opponent missequenced as well. Like I I don't think this is the correct play, but. I think I'm going to crack away my Yogwill because now I need to draw something better. And I need, I couldn't even get the black mana unless I had fetched in response to this Archon. So, uh, no, this game is very dead. I don't have like good answers to Archon at all. It's just not a card I really can answer. I have a repeal, and I have, um, I don't know. I'm gonna get wastelanded. I, there are just no, there are just not answers to this in my deck right now. He says as he, as he finds dress down. Dress Down turns on Force of Will, though. It's not exactly a combination with Lavinia, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, okay. So... Oh, I should have drawn the Dress Down. Fuck! Why am I playing so badly? Oh, well. I'm playing this game just, like, at a preschooler level. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know why I'm playing just a, so bad. I need to refocus. I lost all of my flips again, which was not good. I still don't like have a plan though, right? Sure. I'm surprised I haven't gotten Wastelanded. I guess they just didn't hit any more mana. All right, so I can just draw into Yogwell off this and hope they don't have Force or Fluster or anything. So bad for me. I didn't shuffle that. Oh, I didn't shuffle it away. All right, well, <laughs> what is going on? Why am I doing this? I meant to fetch to shuffle that away, and I didn't shuffle it away. All right, cool. 
All right, I played that game just about as worse as I possibly could have played that game. I think I was on tilt from the underground sea, which I realized like immediately when I didn't keep the underground sea. That was so bad. Okay, focus, focus, focus. What do we want to do against Bant Archon? I want balance and I want swords. Uh, and I want Lavinia on the... I don't even know if I really want Lavinia. I want Prismatic Ending. And I want to get rid of Hercules and Karn. And... I mean, I have a lot of actually reasonable answers in this uh, deck for this nowadays. Because I have like a, a Teferi, a, a Swords, a Balance, a pre Prismatic Ending, two Dress Downs, and a Repeal. Yeah, yeah, it, it was, I think it was just mostly the fact that, um, that I, I knew I shouldn't have kept, I knew I should have kept the Underground Sea, and I didn't, which made me, like, really upset, but it's okay, we're gonna work through it. I don't really think I want more Lavinias, but I'm okay with having a Lavinia. I mean, I basically bring in three removal spells, and I take out a dead card, uh, an Opal, which is a liability, and a dead card, so it's pretty good. This matchup's tough, for sure. Flusterstorm plus Oof plus uh, Archon is definitely an issue. Uh, I think this hand is bad. I do get to Ponder, I guess. Maybe it's fine. Highland Ponder... I feel like this hand is just bad though. I don't like this hand. I I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I think it's just too underpowered. Like this hand is just so much better. Uh, keep. Dress down. Fetch. Ruby. Uh, I don't want to vamp. I don't think I want to vamp. I could just... Yeah, yeah I don't want to vamp because I don't want to get wastelanded. I get to hold up Fluster. But I can still vamp here. Like, if they Fluster this, I just pay and, and missed up and go for a Tinker. And if they don't fluster there, I just get Ancestral. And then I Ancestral on their turn or in response to a fetch. I guess I even wouldn't go in response to a fetch because of uh, negation. So if they have a mental misstep and a fluster, or if they have force and a fluster, obviously this works out poorly for me, but... Alright. Uh... Yeah, I'll pay two. So you have fluster and mental misstep? No? Yeah. That's what I... Ugh, it's such a blowout! <laughs> That is just such a blowout. Okay. Got me. It doesn't get worse than that. I felt like they for sure had Fluster, but having Fluster and Misstep is kind of hard to play around. Am I cycling this dress down? Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. I know this is like good later against their stuff, but I think I need to press the issue and find action, which I just couldn't find. So, okay. I mean, this is a tough matchup and I have not drawn well enough, I guess. I mean, game one, I threw. Game one, I completely threw by just miss, miss playing uh, Brainstorm, but this game, I don't think we have any hope. Scrubland, huh? Four color. Yep. Got it. Oh, Death Ray Shaman. Okay. Snap, Ancestral. That's a good one.
I'm going to do it now. They're F6. Um... I mean, I have a Tinker now, but I don't have protection for it. Could just get a P.O. Four man, I can't beat a Fluster. I don't want them to know about this Mystical. I really don't have Counterplay here, though. No, no Robot, and I didn't bring in uh, Sphinx either. They're just like a Swords Oko deck. I don't really think it's correct to bring in robots and sphinxes versus them. Like they have like three or four Okos in their deck, right? Sure. Maybe they'll tap out. I guess they have a death, right? They're probably not tapping out. Yeah, okay. I mean, now I just have way lower life total. Viseju is not really a thing, no. This is dig through time? <laughs> like, this draw is so good against us. I'm going to just trust the top of my deck. I don't think I can beat a resolve this because it's just going to find an Archon. All right, what's their top deck? Oko? Narset? God, come on! <laughs> Zoomers are so broken. <laughs> Treasure Cruise. Zoomers are so broken. Yeah, uh, whatever, man. There was no chance we were winning this game. And I obviously I threw game one, so didn't really put myself in a good position to win this set. <laughs> We're actually gonna get fluxed after all this shit I talked about flux. Ah, so sad. <laughs> uh It just doesn't matter what I do here. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We drew like abysmally in that game compared to our opponent. Maybe I, I could have tutored. I could have tutored not an ancestral, but it just, it was the card that made the most sense in that situation to beat Flusterstorm. Like, I'm not, I'm not unhappy with how I played round two. I think I played game two, I think game two really well. I just, they had too many good cards. Um, obviously, like, punting game one is the real problem here. That was really rough. That matchup is abysmal. Very, very bad. And here we go. This is going to be round six out of seven. Need to win two. I don't think any X2s are making it, or maybe one X2 makes it. So we just need to win out from here after taking that L last round. But it's playable. Last time we saw Teferi, I can't believe, I can't think they were on a Tinker deck. Uh, Goldfish says eight cast, but could be any kind of Tinker deck, really. It's a very winnable matchup. See what we can do. This hand does not have the mana to cast spells, so I'm off it. Let's try again. This one has the mana to cast spells. Does it have good enough spells? Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of the spell we can't cast. Uh, just in case they're not on Tinker, let's lead with Island and go Island. Yeah, I mean, I have Island Soul Ring. You have Mist Up, no Mist Up. And then we get to go Scroll for Ancestral, eh, Scroll for Ancestral, Scroll for Peel, Scroll for Ancestral. <sighs> Scrolling for PO is four cards. 
However, it is very susceptible to Flusterstorm. However, if we get an Ancestral, it's, uh, we're just getting nothing, apparently. My opponent had a Flusterstorm and a Force and decided to hit the Merchant Scroll. I guess that plays around me having a Flusterstorm in hand and getting Ancestral. Okay, so be it. Well, I got one card left. That's all we got. Mer mana Crypt. Saga. No blue mana. Top. But no spin. Okay. I think I would have just gone top off of Mana Crypt and spun right now. But... Alright, this is our opportunity. So I am going to spin with my top pre-draw. See if I can hit a Tinker or a P.O. I hit a dress down. Um, hmm. I don't think I want that. I think I'm just going to take a fetch land and crack away and spin again and try to find action. Dress down obviously is good against saga tokens. I just don't think saga tokens are going to be the, re the thing that is the bottleneck in this game. I think action is going to be the bottleneck. And if I keep the dress down, I have to keep another one of these lands. Maybe it's fine. But I want to play dress down on their turn or my turn to draw through. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's just take a fetch, fetch, and then spin again. Mm, I will use the Soul Ring this time because I plan to use my mana right away and it also lets me draw into things like Narset. Of course, if I draw Narset, I would really have... <laughs> okay. I, I... 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 Okay. Okay. Not my day at the ranch here. I heard you wanted Dress Down. All right. Not much we could have done about this start. It'll be interesting to see where my opponent goes from here. Obviously, if they have, like, Island Tinker, we are dead, but... <sighs> One flip. See what they've got for us here. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a good one. Go. Okay. Oh. I make it a construct now? All right, I'm going to play a dress down now, then. Because I don't want a dress down on my turn in case I draw Lavinia. Yeah. Obviously, I could stop this next construct, but I don't think that's a huge deal. I would rather cycle through this now and have a better shot of drawing action. Like, again, like, I just think we need action on our next turn while we have the advantage. Like, we're drawing Academy, so we get to go top, spin, look, and we have enough action for, like, an Academy. Hopefully. So they could hit a land here. They didn't hit a land here. Okay. I mean, this could get mental misstepped, I guess, would be a problem, but whatever. P.O.? What the fuck? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no bueno. Absolutely no bueno. If they actually get a needle on top, we would just straight lose the game. I 
I assume they're gonna make a construct here. <sighs> All right, they have cheese. I feel like I did everything right in this game, but my cards were just not happy with me. I just felt... <laughs> yeah. So jealous of my opponent. I think we ran out of luck, unfortunately. This looked like a very winnable game, uh, but we just hit only mana. Even with a top, like we we dug through a top pretty well, and we made multiple choices to to switch cards on top with fetch and and uh, you know like early dress down. We only have one more draw step, so because this can go get a key. Mm. At this point, they probably can find a force too, so. So once again, the constructs of Saga just don't really matter, but finding a key sure does. All right. I need uh, my next card to be something with a payoff. <laughs> wow I am not a very lucky Magic the Gathering player alright game two <laughs> I get to bring in uh, Lavinia, Disenchant, Balance, Swords. And I get to take out Fluster, Island, Hercules, uh, and Mystical Tutor. Uh, I don't, I don't think bottoming the Yagwil was a mistake at all. I just think that I hit, like, the worst, like, I had <laughs> the worst possible cards. <laughs> Uh, you don't get any more unlucky than those cards. Like we we reset our top with a fetch, and we drew an extra card with dress down, and there was just only only mana. So I don't find Hercules to be very good. Why do you need Hercules? Why would you want Hercules? I think Fluster is atrocious against eight cast. I think Fluster is just not a not a remotely an axis that I want to fight on. I I, I don't agree with those statements at all. I can, like, see Hercules being fine. Like, uh, Hercules might be better than Repeal. That's probably reasonable. But I think Fluster is bad. I want one Fluster for Merchant Scroll, and that's it. I think people bringing in Fluster against Acast is, like, part of the reason why Acast gets to win in the Tinker Mirror a lot. I think it's just you don't hit it remotely enough. That, like, it hits Tinker. Obviously, it hits Tinker, and Tinker's a big deal. But the thing, the amount of things it doesn't hit is super high. All right, well... We out there. We doing it. Force check? Any 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 force checkers? I s you kind of messed up misstep me. <laughs> any any force checkers? <laughs> nope. Still have to find the next second action spell. That should do it.
Magic the Gathering. We <laughs> we executed the spells. All right, cool. Sometimes you just have to force check. Let me go look. Maybe we don't actually need swords. The reason I don't like Flusterstorm is they have so many. Wait, what is this? Oh, they're not playing Emery's anymore. Okay, <laughs> that shows that's that shows how much I've been playing vintage recently. I didn't realize that eight cast had finally cut Emery. How? Wh when did they cut Emery? Oh, when they added black mana. Dope. I've been trying to get eight cast to cut Emery for like months. I was just looking for a card to cut. I'm gonna put mystical back in my deck. I didn't realize that eight cast I cut all their creatures. Um. Wow, eight cast is a completely different deck now. Okay, I'm just pretty wrong in my analysis, and <laughs> we definitely want more flusters. Sorry, I haven't been playing very much vintage as I've been prepping for the PT. Um, I've definitely misboarded in game one here, or game two. Eight cast actually just looks like bad PO now. That's crazy. Why would you play eight cast over PO? This is this is incredible. You're just making your deck more weak. Yeah, mm, weird. Very weird. I I just don't understand. Like at this point, you're no longer like the Emery eight cast thing. You're just a you're just like a more all in PO deck. I didn't know that the eight cast decks look like this nowadays. This is very different from what eight cast used to look like with like Emery's and Bobbles and stuff. I don't know how many fluster storms I want because I do think most of my cards are pretty good here. I maybe don't need a balance actually, and I think I want everything else though. Like I still have all the same mirror breakers for Tinker Mirrors with Teferi's, Lavinia's, Karns, Dress Downs. Maybe this is fine. You could like take snap for another fluster, maybe. Nah, I'm down with this. This looks okay. I have a lot of mirror breakers for the Tinker matchup. So, but we're on the draw and we could always very easily just not have a force and die on turn one. Jeez. Well, we're going in. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Tinker mirror. It's a tinker mirror. Time walk. Oh, come on. Oh, no, they tried to cast thought cast. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we're supposed to go to Ferry into Narsa. I don't think it has to be Tinker. I actually think to Ferry into Narsa should be better here. If their last card is Thought Monitor, if one of their cards is Thought Monitor, 
Like, there's a really good chance with no drawing that Tinker isn't good enough here. Oh, I think Mentor would definitely not be correct. It's definitely Narset or Tinker. I could even go Narset and Tinker. I mean, they could have Vamp, sure. I'm not sure. I really don't know what the answer here is. I think it's Teferi Narset. All right, got the force pitching thought monitor. Oh, they pitched thought monitor. Do we tinker then? The problem is if we use this Lotus, we can't play any of our three drops after unless we Narset into a Mox. I think it's still Narset. I mean, it's just Mana Crypt. Is there any reason not to play Mana Crypt right now? Is there a spell? I think I'll take the three. I think Narsa is so much better than Tinkering here. I think eight cast can't function with a Narsa in play. The deck just doesn't function unless they have Tinker. I guess if they hit Tinker, it's pretty bad for me. They hit Thought Cast, which is a dead card. I guess they can try draw a repeal. That's a dead card. Okay. And we beat Flusterstorm here. I, of course, took three. I wonder if I'm supposed to leave Narset. I wonder if I should just leave Narset. I could go Mentor into Opal Tinker, but that loses two Fluster. I know they have a Thought Cast in hand. No, I should just tinker first, I think. And beat Fluster. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go Opal Mentor. And then kill their Thought Monitor. And then I can use my Narsa. Unless they have Fluster. Unless I have a Force. Never mind. <laughs> wow. Cool game. Explosive game. Teferi has been unbelievable all day today. Teferi was just a, such a good deck building inclusion for today's event. Teferi has been beautiful. Okay, sweet. We continue. Win and in next round. Win and in. And we could even get... No, we can't get paired up, right? Well, if Terabad loses, we could get paired up too. That'd be pretty dope. We'll see. All right, here we go. Round seven of seven, Vintage Showcase, win and into top eight. Uh, we're up against powerful Magic Gathering Online Grinder, 
Medivave, Medi, I don't even know how to, Medivave, Medivave, I have, bro, I'm just a stupid American. Really powerful, powerful, uh, Magic the Gathering online grinder, so we'll see what we can do here. Obviously, this hand has no mana. Usually plays, uh, aggro shops, but we'll have to see. Med, uh, I mean, it's a name. It's a very common name. I should be able to figure it out, but. All right, I'm just gonna put this Talarian Academy back and keep this hand. Med, Vedev. That sounds right. Medvedev. Yes. There we go. Thank you, chat, for making me. All right. Pair down into aggro shops. Okay. See what we can do here. Again, I think the aggro shops matchup is pretty good. We did lose the die roll. Uh, I don't think you should counter foundry inspector. We have to save it for like a... Oh my lord, that's a really rough card to have. Like if it was like mock sphere, it would be a little bit better for me. But this is really bad. Now they can have a double sphere. Even... Uh, Oh boy, it's not good. I could have forced this inspector, but I typically don't like to force inspector. Wow, there's an opal in this list. That's interesting. All right, I mean, now they can play triple sphere. This looks bad for me. I definitely have some regrets about not countering Inspector, but typically my heuristics are not to counter Inspector. Wow, we're still on Ravagers. Okay. Like, I, again, I can't counter any of these. I have to counter a Sphere. Like, my hand just does not function versus a Sphere. And if they have two Spheres, it's really bad. Looks like a Walking Ballista, though. Yeah. Okay. So that was... I, I played this correctly, but my opponent has to play their entire hand hand. So we'll see, have to see how this works out. Uh, That worked out pretty well. So now we can go Merchant Ancestral. I think that's just the best line. I guess we could hold the Lotus. No, there's no real good hold the Lotus lines. I think it's just Merchant Ancestral. This is like very, like this is a eat, eat, seven damage with the ability to go one, two, three, four. It's a turn three kill. And if they have a good card off the top, it's a turn, it could be even be a turn two kill. Uh, but I, I think we don't have very much choice. We think we just have to go for Ancestral and hope it's going to be good enough here. I don't really like any of my other choices. Like, I could get a Hercules Recall and make them play it all again, but I don't think that's good. So, yeah, I'm just going to get an Ancestral. I'm going to cast Ancestral and see what we got. I could have vamped first, but oh my lord, it's so bad for me. Um... So I'm currently taking three, six, seven down to 12 with the ability to take an additional five down to, okay. So I should be able to fetch a underground sea and cast ponder here. So that I can maybe have a vamp for Tinker. I mean, I'm just not even gonna be able to vamp for Tinker. It's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna make me taken too low. This looks really bad. I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to come back from this. I need like multiple artifacts, probably. Not that kind of artifact. <laughs> All right, unlucky. Um, yeah, I mean, that hand's good enough and my hand's bad enough. I, I cast Ancestral and it just, it wasn't good, so.
So if we take a full hit here and we draw maybe Hercules, and then we still have to vamp crazy. There's like no good vamp targets for me right now, right? I think I need to draw Hercules and then vamp. I don't even know. Like, I need to draw multiple cards somehow. I don't think I have anything. Maybe if I draw Dress Down this turn. Uh, that's not probably not even good enough. I drew Mana Crypt. But am I dead on board currently? So if they eat, I take... Yeah, I'm just dead on board. Fuck! Ah, this is rough. I just needed to draw better cards off Ancestral. Hmm... There was just no counterplay for me with the those cards off Ancestral. Well, I could have played... There wasn't really a better Merchant Scroll target. I think I just play played the hand I had, and the hand I had was just going to lose to them every time. Yeah, if I was on the play, that would have been a lot easier as well. I mean, I could have countered Foundry Inspector. Because I think vamping for a dress down is like really silly. Not strong enough play to win the game. Like I could have vamped for Tinker or something, like something actually playable. But so they can just eat at any point here. Like they have to play around repeal. Uh, but do they really have to play around repeal? Not really. I can't even Yogwill now because I didn't you didn't play double underground C. Alright, this is this is it's too it's too it's too bad. I mean we could have made the play you suggested. I just don't think the play you suggested is worth is a play I would make. Wish we had a balance in the main. I think we could have had some good lines if we had a balance in the main. If we had a balance in the main, we could have started the game with uh, Underground C, Vamp for balance, and then balance them. That's what we really needed. We really needed a balance in the main. I can't... Uh, I mean, I can I can Yogg, but like, I'm going to die. So... Like, I, I'm dead on board. <laughs> Give him my best shot. Like, technically, there's no technically. I I'm just dead. <laughs> they have two counters on their ballista already. <laughs> yeah. I had to take too much life to do this. I think what I really needed was a balance in my main, and then I had some actually really good lines against that hand. I could have, like I said, I could have forced Foundry Inspector, and that would have went a lot better for me. I just, like, typically have found forcing Foundry Inspector is not really the best line, but maybe, maybe I was wrong in that instance, I'm not sure. Anyways, we're now on the play versus Aggro Shops, I'm gonna bring in second Lavinia, uh, Prismatic Ending, Sphinx of the Steel Wind, Disenchant, uh, Balance, three Hercules Recalls, Swords to Plowshares, and possibly Needle. And I'm going to take out Probe, Misstep, Fluster, Fluster, um, Snapcaster, uh, Teferi, Narset, um, I don't think, I, I don't think I want Needle, actually. 
Maybe I want needle guns yeah, top. Ponder. Something like that. It's pretty reasonable. Okay. Yeah, I do think Lavinia is good on the play. I don't think Lavinia is good on the draw. Typically, don't play them on the draw. Or some of them. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> I'm just not... These hands are just not good. You can't keep this hand either. It's just not strong enough. Need If I had a Moxin in this hand, I would keep it, but... I guess I'm going to five. Still just looking for a tinker. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, another no land hand. Going to four. I mean. Keeping four of these looks bad. So I guess I'll go to three. Try to find a tinker hand. Okay. Uh, no dress down, no swords, no opal, no mentor. Cycle my repeal, try to hit ancestral. Yeah, but I can't cast it. And even if I cast it, I don't think it's good enough. So I think just trying to hit off of this is better. They have missed up. Fuck me. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. It do be like that sometimes. Oh, free ginger brute, no attack. I look at this. Look at my line chat. My line was so good. I'm so happy with how I played this game, though. Like, I'm going to be honest. With you, I think I played this game really well. <laughs> All I did was mulligan, but I, I, I'm pretty happy with the mulligan. I choice like the mulligan choice, I think, is correct. And I think it like almost paid off. If I hit Lotus. Nope. Nope. <laughs> sphere sphere plus revoker on Lotus. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, oh, oh. 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 They top deck Thorn? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I did, yeah. I, I asked my opponent if they were willing to scoop to me. We'll see if they do. My opponent is currently the bottom breakers of the X2s, and I'm, uh, at X1. So, uh, it's, it's reasonable that I get a scoop, but I'm, like, I don't know. I might get it, I might not. Who knows? You gotta try. 
I'm dead on board. I have no outs, so I'm just asking. We got it. Sometimes lucky. Ooh, play some showcase magic this year. Mm. Let's go. All right. And that that is sometimes how it goes in tournament magic. That was a brutal way to try to win. Um, but Magic Online pairings are very odd. I don't know why Magic Online pairings are this way. In a real tournament, uh, I would never be able to get paired against someone who has zero chance of being in top eight when I have a chance of being in top eight. Um, I really do think that Magic Online should probably fix that. Uh, I, I don't know why they don't use the same kind of pairings as they do in, um, in paper. I don't, I don't really understand. Like, I would really like both top eight to have modified play draw rule. And I would like um, pairings to be more consistent. Um, but sometimes you're there and sometimes you got to ask. And the good news is I get to play a top eight on the stream. And the good news is I get to play uh, a showcase and make more content for everybody and have a chance to play in the mocks again. So uh, I'll accept it. I'm not happy. I wanted to, you know, always want to win with my magic cards, but we'll definitely take it. Here we are. Top 8 Vintage Showcase, which means we are qualified for the next uh, uh, invitation-only showcase event. We're here in this absolutely stacked Top 8. We've got Senpai, Discover, and again. So that means one less player after Discover and has now queued for this twice. Uh, Zack Attack, one of the highest win rate uh, players on the platform, uh, especially for Vintage. Uh, you got Eggy Benny, you got Terabad, Fado, and Danny Ground. So it's a, it's a stacked Top 8. Stacked Top 8. Uh, this hand is sick. Let's definitely keep it. This hand is turn two tinker with double fluster storm. So we just have to hopefully don't die on turn one. Raggy boy? Ragavan. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't mind if I do. All right. So. How much. Uh, not for this tournament. This tournament is not like that. It does not pass down. Do not pass go. You do not collect two hundred dollars. Okay, so if I play my mana vault and I play time walk, and then I go mystical on my, if I play my mana vault and I play time walk and then I play mystical on my upkeep. I have access to a single fluster storm. Or I could play time walk and then hope it doesn't get countered. Play mystical on my upkeep for Tinker. Play a mana vault off of a black lotus and then Tinker with two fluster storm backups. So the only thing is if my spell gets countered on this time walk, then it's a little bit bad that way. But I think it makes the most sense to do it that way. It's like highly, it does incentivize a time, uh, a fluster storm here, but it's a little hard to fluster storm into active Lotus. I would be pretty surprised if my opponent countered this and it was an active Lotus here. So now I mystical on my upkeep. And I get a tinker. And then I play a Mana Vault. I guess if they have a Mental Misstep, it's pretty rough. But I feel like they would have Mental Misstepped something else. Alright. Tinker with double Flusterstorm backup. Turn one. And Daze. Alright. Let's see what we got. 
Pyro? Okay. I have a Fluster. It's tough for my opponent. Like, you're not... I don't really think you're supposed to Pyroblast the Time Walk, but that, that would have actually worked out for them. Kind of a similar situation to the last round where I chose not to force a Foundry Inspector. See if they have a Force as well. They do. They have a Force as well. Well, I'm sorry to say I have two Flusters. They had a Force of Negation, Pitching Force of Will. This was just like a, an extreme high roll hand. Which I guess we deserve after some of those extreme low roll hands. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this could brick too. This could easily brick too. Uh, but I guess if it bricks, it's not a huge deal. Unless they were to go like land Dak. All right, Bolus is Citadel. <laughs> that is that is decidedly not a brick. Ah, uh, those are not those are not actually very good though. Okay, that's good though. <laughs> All right, uh, Vamp Time Walk for sure. I guess I could go Mentor. Let's just get a Time Walk. I usually almost always go Time. Oh, I used Time Walk already, so I could get a Yog Will. But then I don't. I do have enough mana, right? Yeah, I can just put a Yog Will. That should be good enough. Yeah, Yog Will. All right, so Black Lotus, Mana Vault. Um, I can just need to get a Mentor, I guess. So I can just Demonic for Mentor. Monic for Mentor. Mentor. Ancestral. Time Walk. Or that works too. Sure. Yo. Yeah, this is this is deterministic. Nope, don't need a top. You can get a top though for fun if you want. All right, let's go to the next turn. Uh, I don't think it's bad. I almost always vamp for time walk, but top is probably fine as well. Maybe he tops even better. I don't know. I didn't really think that hard on it, but you could be right. <sighs> okay. That's a really... I mean, that's just a high roll vintage hand right there. Crypt is too aggressive. Crypt is no... There's nothing wrong with playing a Crypt. I have a, I have a Tinker in my, in my graveyard. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, Tinker decks are at a pretty... Are pretty strong in vintage right now. Uh, PO decks in particular are pretty good in Tinker Mirrors, which makes them pretty strong in Vintage right now. All right, so I'm going to be bringing in a Lavinia. I'm going to be bringing... I don't exactly know what Terabat is playing. Uh, I know that there's a Monkey, and that probably means that it's... I mean, it could be the 6M Breach List. It could be Grixis Tinker. Um... Let me go look at my data sheet and see what the last thing I have down for Terabat is. I actually don't think Terabat has been playing Vintage, so I'm actually not sure. Um, not sure. I would say it's probably Breach, but it's not, it's not really conclusive on whether or not this is Breach or not. 
I would say at the very least, we don't really need a Hercules, but I would want to play a Disenchant and a Lavinia. I don't think we need another island. Um, between Lavinia, Disenchant, Dress Down, we should have Saga battled pretty well. We might want more like Flusterstorms. I kind of like Flusterstorms instead of Mystical when I'm playing against Pyroblast. This looks pretty good. Like, we could definitely play a Swords against a Monkey deck. Honestly, if they're on Lelia and Monkey, then we probably want a Swords. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to bring out to make that a reality. Uh, I do still want Karn, maybe just better than Repeal. It's a little hard to say that that's a little better than this, better than Repeal. I could take out Vamp, another Slow Tutor. I'm not 100% sure that's the best idea either, but I mean, it's a Tinker Mirror. It's not unreasonable. Um, like if they're on breach, I do kind of want soul guide lantern, but in the end, I don't really care too much. Don't really think I need four flusters, but I could always bring in four flusters here. There's a lot of choices. I don't really know exactly what my opponent's on, so it's hard to make those choices, but, um, yeah, I think this is a reasonable shot. Which disenchant art is this? Ah, you're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is that Master's Edition or something? I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little slow. If my opponent combo kills me, there's some problems there. But I mean, turn one Mentor is very good against uh, Monkey. All right, I get F6. They have Probe. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to think back on that Vamp where you're saying I could have Vamp for top. And you're probably right. I probably was supposed to Vamp for top. Uh, I just like am super into Time Walk Vamps. <laughs> I think the those are the I mean those are probably the things you vamp for the most are time walking top. This is a great art for disenchant. Big fan. Uh yeah, there's fragmentize, which I am definitely not running. <laughs> um fragmentize doesn't hit hollow one is the biggest problem. Okay, so my opponent knows my hand and left open Flusterstorm, Lightning Bolt, Pyroblast. I could play Demonic, but it would get flustered. I could play Mentor, but they would be able to bolt it. I think the answer is to just jam Mentor. Like the the idea, the likelihood they have a Lightning Bolt in their hand is fairly low. The likelihood they have like multiple Lightning Bolts even in their deck is fairly low. Um. I, I'm willing to jam Mentor here and get punished. So. I think jamming uh, Demonic would be pretty irresponsible. They're much more likely to have Flusterstorm than they are to have Lightning Bolt. They didn't have Lightning Bolt. All right. So we have a, a Mentor on turn one against uh, a Volcanic Island deck is a great place to be. That would be bad. <laughs> Monkey into swords here would be bad. I agree. Thank you for calling that off the top of the deck. That's just what I needed. Let's click time walk, maybe. Oh, just merchant scroll. Okay, merchant scroll. This is going to go get an ancestral. I have a disenchant for saga, which is really nice. I also have demonic time walk, which is really nice. This might be, maybe this gets forcible. You know, I got ancestral. Okay, they actually have a sapphire to hold up flusterstorm. Or not. They're just going to cast Ancestral. Okay. I mean, Demonic Time Walk looks quite good here. Uh, they have to have Force. I mean, maybe they don't have to have Force. Maybe that's... I, I just feel like Demonic Time Walk is looks like a, 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 a set of lines that is going to put us in a good position to win this game. We'll see what we see what we have here. Lost another flip, of course. Misstep is a little late. Uh, hmm. I think I like Demonic Walk. I think I like Demonic Walk. Mentor has been outstanding today. Teferi has been outstanding today. Um, I've had some really good cards today. Yeah, I mean, if they have a Force for Time Walk, then they have a Force for Time Walk, sure. I think I'm okay with that either way. Gonna set up to get tons of triggers. 
I think I there might be better plays than this, but I kind of like this play the most. There are definitely chances for us to KO them with this time walk. I mean, I can disenchant Saga next if my time walk resolves, obviously. If my time walk gets countered, then like there's a de there's a decent chance like my opponent could kill me on the next turn, but I didn't really have protection anyways. And maybe I could go like disenchant Arsa Saga Demonic for force. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that. It's definitely a line I could have taken. Looks like they're going to force this time walk, though. Okay. I mean, this is fine. Like I said, I'm, there are definitely... If I, I don't know, I didn't do the math. Uh, uh, they go to 13, and then I have three units, four damage, so I have to get an additional nine damage, so I have to cast five spells? Don't exactly think so. This is three, so this is four damage. I have to get an extra nine damage. I have to cast three spells, so I have three spells. Yes, yeah, so I have Deterministic Lethal, so yeah. Yeah. I, I, I didn't do the math. <laughs> probably should do the math before taking that I just feel like you're almost always going to find lethal like even if I like top and like spin top or draw with top or something like I'm putting myself in a spot to win basically and so like I, like I was saying a mentor has a specific downside of being like pretty weak against combo draws so if my opponent was to go I don't know black lotus underworld breach brain freeze me, brain freeze kill me like I, I don't have I don't have uh, anything to combat that. But if they don't have like Tinker or they don't have Brain Freeze, like this mentor will just kill them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've played like 85 games of TFT in the last week. It's been kind of nutty. I, 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 <laughs> this whole week has been a nightmare for me because I've been like grinding TFT and I just hit tier three in Lost Ark and i've been jamming games for the pro tour on arena so i hit number 56 mythic i guess i don't know what that means but i'm ranked 56 mythic on arena so it's crazy i hope the pro tour format is tft i, I don't even I, I think i'd be pretty good if the pro tour format was tft that'd be dope <laughs> I, i'm super excited for, i'm actually i i wasn't very excited for the pro tour until i uh, i made the historic deck and now that i have the historic deck I'm excited for the Pro Tour. It might not go well. I can I can accept that. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be a nice crash and burn. <laughs> no, no, I can't. can't. can't tell you. It's too super secret. Super secret tech. It's bad, I think. But it's super fun. I, I, I promise I will put it on social media the minute everyone knows deck lists. I don't know exactly when that is. I don't think they've said that anywhere. I know my deck lists are due on Sunday, but I don't know when everybody gets to see the deck lists. I'm not really sure. <laughs> standard is not even event. Standard is not even a format played on Arena. <laughs> the Pro Tour is alchemy and historic. Uh, next weekend, Pro Tour is next Friday. Yo, I hope you had a good stream, Passion. Is that a Murktide region? Ah, uh, how big is it? Ah. Uh, okay. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Fair. Hmm. All right, so we can go around it, I hope. Can we not lose any any mana crypt flips here? That'd be nice. I lost another mana crypt flip. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. If I'm gonna play around Flusterstorm, I think I should start by disenchanting this saga. Play a top, spin a top, look for swords. I mean, we might be just swinging out here either way. Probably are swinging out here either way. Uh, there's no reason not to play this pre-spin.
Bluster, Sapphire. So if I were to play a Sapphire and force it, that would be an extra two damage, an extra two triggers. I could deal 10 damage and put them to three. So I shouldn't do that. Uh, instead, I should swing out, lose my mentor, put them to seven. Swing out, lose my mentor, put them to seven. I have four attackers. I need to play two spells. Yeah, that seems correct to me. So I'll hold out fl Force Fluster and an attack all. Yeah, next turn I can play top and opal, or top and sapphire. I'm at five, so I don't want to pay life for this misstep. I think passing is worse. Like, I have guaranteed lethal here. I think. I, I mean, I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I played with Ventor, actually. So, definitely possible that I would have been correct, but... This was where my my thoughts headed, so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my attack is correct. There's like a question of if I'm supposed to draw my Sapphire and get extra damage in and one more Monk token. But I think drawing my Sapphire is worse than having the access to Flusterstorm. So... Yo, thanks, Tungus. Paying costs. What does that mean? Like, if my opponent casts a bolt here, I can uh, pay life and or, or not pay mana and mental misstep it, and then I can draw into Force Plus Luster as well. Yep, we're definitely going to put our top on top either at end of turn or during the upkeep. Either of those work. So that we can play top and then draw with top and play sapphire. And those are our two triggers for Oh, those are... that's not lethal actually. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that not lethal? Draw top, play top. Oh no, did I miscount? I have to counter on my turn? Oh, I guess if they attack it's four tokens. So it's fine. I'm going to draw this Fluster, and then I'm going to pitch the Mist up. All right. What if they don't attack? It's not lethal if they don't attack, right? And maybe I'm supposed to keep this Mist up. No, I can't Mist up on the top or I won't be able to cast the Mox. Three monks get through for nine. Oh, I'm just doing bad math today. Okay, we're good. It's like I've been streaming for six hours or something. I don't know. You're right. My my initial math was good. I just, uh, I started doubting myself, you know? Never doubt yourself. Never let chat get in your head. This is a lot closer of a game than I thought it was going to be. So this must mean that they're on the 6 m uh... Uh, Grixis, uh, Breach list. But I guess we won't have a game three, so. So this is a Pyroblast on my Force of Will. 
Now only two monks need to get in, so it's even better. Couple! Uh, not exactly, not me. Not exactly. All right, Men Monastery Mentor is a hell of a drug. I am down for a little Monastery Mentor whenever it calls me. <laughs> Greetings! Top four time. <laughs> you wouldn't have guessed it. I mean, actually, you, you definitely would have guessed it. But Discover Red and Zack Attack are both in the top four. Who could have seen this coming? Uh, so yeah. It's our it's our it's our uh, challenge now to beat the master. Discover N likely on Doomsday. Let's see what we can do. Like I said, I think we have some decent tools in this deck for Doomsday. This is one of them. So I think we have a shot. <laughs> I'm definitely happy with this hand here. Gonna keep it. I have a nice blue card to pitch to force to get my th Lavinia through. But if there's anybody who's going to be able to beat a Lavinia. It's definitely Discover N. Let's see what they got. Misty Go. There's like some value to brainstorming end of turn here, but I'm going to hold, I think. There's also like some value to having fetched uh, before they played anything so that I can't get like Dark Ritual Opposition Agented, but that one in the main is a little more suspect. Uh, yeah, I want to be able to fetch an underground C here, so I'm going to get an underground C and I'm going to slam a Lavinia. What say you, Discover N? Force? Force plus Fluster, maybe? I mean, I'm, will I'm willing to fight over, am I willing to fight over this? I'm not beating a Fluster Storm anyways. Mm, mm, I don't know. My opponent could just turn to kill me if they fluster this back and then go Dark Ritual Doomsday draw spell. <sighs> but I guess if they have Dark Ritual Doomsday uh, draw spell or Street Wraith fluster, that would also kill me. I think I'm just supposed to let it go. It's kind of unfortunate, but it's too bad for me. And this definitely narrows down the hands that win the game for them. So they have a top deck tutor as well. No. Okay. Would they pitch preordain? Okay. I think they almost certainly have a Flusterstorm, I would agree. Which makes it really bad for me to play Force into it. So I just have to take it. And now we have to hope we don't die. I mean, it's it's like a really hard combination of cards, right? It's like only like Dark Ritual, Doomsday, Street Wraith that would kill me there. And they have to have a land, I guess. Not even accounting for that. I guess they could have a Black Lotus, but yeah, Black Lotus would certainly be good. Hmm. I don't really have a game plan going forward here, though. Ancestral, and we're assuming that they have a Fluster Storm back up here. Brutal. Brutal, 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 brutal. Yeah. Yep. Okay. P.O. I'm going to brainstorm now and look to increase my mana. Maybe not. 
If I brainstorm now and increase my mana, I could just hold open all my mana, PO for one. Brainstorm now. I kind of like brainstorming now. Okay. So what if I just put back... Bolos fetch land, and then I go... So if I put back Bolos fetch land and I play a mana vault out, I actually have a ton of mana. I have two mana, five mana, six mana. If I play, if I put away Academy Citadel, then I have uh, five mana, but I won't draw into an extra land. There's like some world where I PO end step, but I don't want to draw into Citadel. So I think I have to take Delta. So I think no matter what, I, it's unfortunate, but I think I have to just take I just have to put this academy away, and uh, I think I'm safe to fetch this now. And I'm going to just play a vault. The bit, the worst part about this is I can't end step PO because it doesn't beat fluster no spell. But it does give me at least a path forward here. My opponent has seven cards in hand, and we can assuming one of them is a fluster storm. I mean, it's we're really far behind. Unfortunately, like our Lavinia gained us a card, but Ancestral put us two cards behind, and a bunch of our cards are in mana. Because I don't think drawing Academy is going to win me the game. I think I need to draw something else. So I can PO in response to this Mystical Tutor. Uh, and I will draw two fresh cards. But I will be weak if I have to beat Fluster. So like I think this game is likely going to be I force something with a bunch of mana open. And hope it's worth it, I guess. <laughs> so I don't think I'm allowed to PO here. I would have to draw, like, exactly Fluster for it to be good, and I only have two Flusters in my deck. Yeah, I just don't think that PO here is good. Well, we don't need to resolve... Like, we can resolve PO after. Like, we have to not die this turn. And I think casting PO puts me at risk of dying because my Force is going to get Flustered. Right now, I can force and have five mana to pay for Fluster. PO is not the... The first plan of action here is we need to not die. And, I mean, I think that's going to be very challenging. <laughs> but uh, we have to try. I just think the PO is only good if we draw Fluster, and even then, it's just turning off my Force to Fluster, so it's like... I just don't think it's good. They got to dig through time, so it looks like we're playing the long game. If they got to dig through time off of this Mystical Tutor, now do I want to try to resolve Pio? No, I still don't. I still don't. It's interesting that they got to dig through time off this Mystical. I wonder what exactly that means. 
that's not an unreasonable assumption. I have I have been playing like I have a fluster. It's kind of an interesting spot. I mean, I think they have a fluster. I think they almost certainly have a fluster. I like playing against Discover Run. It's tough. They are unbelievably patient. It's crazy. Pass. Okay. I mean, again, I have to just wait. However, if I draw a Mana Crypt, can I PO through Dig plus Fluster? I drew another PO. Drew another PO. I could PO here. If they, if they go Dig through Time into Fluster, I have exactly enough to pay. I just don't know if that's good. Because if I, if I go PO and I counter dig, then I lose the fluster, which is just a nightmare. I could just let dig go. I could force dig. I could PO and just let them resolve a, a, a dig through time. I feel so, I feel like such a disadvantage here. I think I have to PO here. And let them resolve a dig through time. I think force... But if I force a dig, then I, I am so far behind. I guess I could force dig and then hope that they draw no doomsday pieces. That's not an unreasonable line. Force dig. I, I just don't know if we're actually gaining an advantage by acting last. Like, I understand that we want to act last, but I just don't know if we're gaining an advantage. Like, I want to force this. But I will be completely shields down for Doomsday. Which is insanity, right? Can I just let this resolve? I feel like I could just let this resolve. PO now doesn't do anything. It's not good. No, it's not good. Just have to force this. It's too strong, I think. I mean, they don't know that we're shields down. I mean, I do have opt like there are things I can draw off PO, but like if they go Dark Ritual Doomsday, like I, I, <laughs> I can't like PO into a flood. Like they have a fluster. We know they have a fluster. Likely have a fluster. <laughs> they have infinite mana here. Maybe I was supposed to respond to Ritual by POing. I think we're just fucked. I think, like, opponent has just developed faster than us. We didn't have enough cards. Like, the Ancestral, would, like, kind of buried us. Like, we're just, like, we're a, we're a much worse deck at playing this kind of game. Especially pre-board when we only have two Fluster. I mean, they only have three cards in hand. Theoretically, two of them might not, like, there's, there are, like, one's Fluster and two are just not draw spells. We were probably supposed to PO in response to Dark Ritual. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to PO in response to Dark Ritual. Because now if we PO, we're too far behind. I think I fucked up. I think I was supposed to PO in response to Dark Ritual. But even then, like, what am I drawing into? Like, Fluster's not going to get the job done here. 
They don't have a draw spell. Oh my god, I'm rewarded for my play. I am absolutely rewarded for my play. I, they can fluster this, but I, I mean, I have to. Like, they can fluster this, but that, that's acceptable. Why did I tap my vault? I don't know. I'm bad. <laughs> I should have tapped my vault. I agree. I mean, I could have drawn uh, something on end step. I mean, now I can get days and lose, I guess. Snap brainstorm. Uh... Snap. No, this is top four. Snap brainstorm. It's not great. Theo is not great either. I lose too much blue mana. It was so bad to tap my mana vault. I think I have to snap brainstorm now. There are a lot of outs that this gets draws me to, but I played this game very bad. Oh my god, I was dead from the start. <laughs> there, I I didn't play that game well. I, I definitely did not play that game very well. I played this game very poorly. Well, not very poorly. I think there was a bunch of things I did in this game that were right, but I had like very little shot of winning. Uh, those were not the draws. I keep fetching away the Citadel and then drawing it. I'm not, I'm not very happy with how I played this game. Tapping Vault was pretty bad. I don't think it mattered, but I should not have done it for sure. I Honestly, for a second, I thought I could pay for a Fluster. But I couldn't, so. All right. Yeah, I mean, Discover ends a patient player, and I got ranched. So we get to bring in another Lavinia, and we get to bring in two Fluster Storms, which are really nice. Um, We can even bring in Balance on the play. It's a little awkward. We'll see how we feel about it. Uh, not really, no, because you don't have a blue source. So uh, we get to get board out a Herco's Recall. We get to board out an Island. Uh, we can board out a Repeal, and we could board out. I mean, we don't have to bring in Balance. I just think there's like some percentage of there's some there's some percentage to be gained by like deploying a bunch of mocks in on turn one and playing Balance. Obviously, I like if I had not tapped Mana Vault, I probably would have gone for a PO instead of a uh, Snap Brainstorm. But um, but um, yeah. I'm no, I'm considering no. I don't want to board out Mystical. I think Mystical is still good. I'm just considering no. I think Karn's still good. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just increasing the number of good pl plays on turn one. I understand that it's a number with that, but I don't know if that means it's bad. Like, I think increasing the number of hands where I can do something that is, like, very threatening to them on turn one. It's pretty good. Well, if I drew two cards there, I, I'm drawing Ruby Citad uh, Citadel, and then I'm drawing a second, another PO. Like, it's possible. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely possible. I had to have tapped better, so... I think that Mystical and Vampiric are fine. It's like super combo matchup. It's whoever combos first wins. I mean, that's how I that's how I view the matchup, anyways. I think the longer the game goes, the less likely I am to win. Is how I feel. So I actually don't have a problem with keeping Mystical and Vampiric in the matchup. I don't think they're great, but I think they're fine. Like, I'm okay. Like, I'm thinking I'm probably cutting Mystical here, but I don't think it's, like, unreasonable to keep Mystical either. No, I want speed. I don't want to cut an Opal. Uh, I don't think cutting a top makes sense either. 
No, I, I a top is very important to make sure my Citadel kills on the same turn, which is very important against Doomsday. I'm gonna go like this. I don't want to play a long game. My opponent has like a four preordain, like a uh, cantrip crazy deck. So like, I don't want to play a long game. I want to find as many ways to win the game as fast as possible. It certainly looks like one of those hands that wins the game as fast as possible. You can play one saga. It's totally reasonable. Uh, I have considered it. I just would rather not play with any sagas in my deck, but you can definitely play with a saga. I think saga is just so bad. I, I just don't ever want to play with that card. It just loses me so many games of magic. I can't deal with it. <laughs> Psychologically, I just cannot deal with that card in my deck. So I, I think I'm passing the turn here and vamping for Tinker and trying to force... Uh, get forced through a tinker on the next turn. Just going to fetch this now so I don't have to worry about opposition agent. No, no, no. This is not a force check hand. I have force backup for my tinker. I'm going to go to their turn and, and tinker. It's unfortunate that this is Black Lotus and not like Mana Crypt, because then uh, I could like look for like maybe a PO or something. But so I cast Tinker with three mana up. I force, they force, they fluster, and I lose because <sighs> I have not enough mana. Right? I'm I have three extra mana. Uh, Tinker is one, Forces two, Forces three, Fluster is four total, and I lose. Man, that is so frustrating. Uh, maybe there's a better line. I don't want to lose to Force Fluster, though. What about just taking Ancestral? No, I want to take an action card here, not a mana card. I guess I get to go land, tinker, tinker, away my opal keeps a lotus. What about just... I mean, hard casting tinker, or hard casting still loses to force fluster. <laughs> balance them get five cards out of their hand <laughs> it's a pretty solid balance mentor's too slow <laughs> test it you're in the top four of the showcase test your, your theoretical line Fuck it. You know what? Don't say I don't do anything for content. <laughs> Sir, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. If I get a bull of Citadel and cast it, and they have a force, I force, and then they fluster me, and I lose. I did it for content. We, we took the line. Balance five cards out of your hand. They forced it. Pitching time walk. Do we force back? Making them have to have force or fluster. Probably not. Probably not. I mean, I have no action. I don't think we're allowed to do that. Actually, we have four mana this way because this is a two mana spell. All right, fuck it. I'm in. I, I didn't realize we had one extra mana with this route. We can pay for fluster, because it's not tinker, it's balance. Oh no, it's so t it's so good! It's so good! Wait, is balance just the nuts? Shove all in! 
I'm actually giga brain genius. I'm just a giga brain genius. The brain on this lad. Uh oh, that's a pretty good one. That's a nice play. They get to put their best two cards back on top and wreck us with the Ancestral. I'm getting their whole hand minus two, but... Ah... Uh, I guess they could find Force as well. Send it. Send it. I don't, <laughs> I don't give a shit. You do you. <laughs> they could Brainstorm lock themselves too. Yeah, technically true. They found Force, pitching Flusterstorm. Sad day. It, 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 Discover End is unbeatable, okay? It, it just comes down to the fact that Discover End is not a fucking human being. They're just, they're just not a human being. Look at this shit. I, I, I pushed and pushed. I can't, what, what, <laughs> Discover End is not human. How can this be fair? <laughs> How this is this is so unfair. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. I tried chat, you know? I went for the gig of brain line. I tried my damn it, my damn hardest. It, it's just it's discovering. It's discover. I'm gonna sit here, act like I have a fluster storm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yes, I have I have a fluster storm, yes. Alright, you know what? I let it resolve. What are you gonna do about it? Black Lotus Doomsday? Mm, they're in game three. Vamp was at least action, okay? Vamp was an action spell. I'm all about things that find action. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was fine. Like, my opponent had exactly the answers, right? There's a lot of worlds where my opponent... Oh my god, I was joking! I was joking! I was joking! It was a joke! It was a joke that don't actually have it! Playing against Discover N is the worst thing that can ever happen to any Magic player. It's ridiculous. Doomsday is not is not balanced. It's not balanced. You think we're getting an extra turn? Chat. You think we're getting an extra turn here? You think Discover N would simply pass the turn after casting Doomsday? I don't need a tinker. Just give me my Citadel. I'll slap that bad boy into play. Just, just, I don't even need a tinker. Give me that Citadel. I'll just plop it in play. No shot. Zero percenter. Discover N has disconnected. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I, I, I mean, I, would ha I, when I'm, <laughs> when I got hands like that, why do I need to be there anyways? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and out. I see it out. We have a chance. They just need to simply disappear. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
it's it's impossible. It's impossible to balance Doomsday. You've seen it here. We need a ban. We can't just balance this deck. It's unbalanceable. All right, they're back. Damn it, that out was short lived. Oh, I discover and Sama. It's un it's just unlucky to get paired against you. I'm only a mere mortal while you are a vintage god. I'm not even gonna look. I'm not even gonna look. I'm not even gonna map out this shit. There I'm not even gonna map it out. It's not worth it. We just we either get there or we don't. Oh, we got we got a turn. We got a draw step. We got a draw step. Chat, please send me some luck. A little bit. Please. Please. Just a little citadel. A little citadel for the chat. It's fine. It's fine. You're allowed to win as many games in vintage as you can, and as you. But that is only until you face Discover End, in which case you are no longer allowed to win any games of vintage. It was fun. It was a good time. Uh, I feel obviously I feel really lucky to even be in the semifinals. So there, there is no complaining to be had. Obviously, Discover End is just a tier above and uh I, I i relish any win we can ever get against them uh but yeah that's that's oh that is the end of this tournament but we got what we came for we we got the showcase top eight uh so we will be in the next vintage mox event which is which is the the goal uh, I'm super excited to be able to play in one of those. Those events are amazing. You know, 24-ish players, invite only, winner goes to the Mox, gets to play versus Nathan and the other high rollers and uh, win big Buku Bucks. So uh, it, it was a good stream. This deck was good. A deck was uh, really well done, or really well done. I think this deck was really well constructed. Uh, I think that Lavinia and Teferi and Karn are just very nice meta breakers. If you expect to play against Tinker a lot, which, I mean, I think everyone should expect to play against Tinker a lot, uh, I, I think it makes sense to be loaded up on these kind of um, permanent-based hate cards uh, that, that shut down your opponent and are both not flusterstormable. Uh, or, or, and are not flusterstormable. There's no both there. Um, this is. I think this was just a good list for the day, and I'm happy. The biggest problem with this deck is it's clunky. It's super clunky. I mean, there's no... There's no, like, smoothing. There's no preordains. There's no nothing. You need to draw the cards you need, and if you don't draw the cards you need, you just lose, as you saw in that last game and uh, in our games against um, uh, the aggro shops players. If you just draw the cards that you need, you win. If you draw the cards you don't, you lose. Obviously, there's a lot of play involved. There's a lot of sequencing that both won us and lost us games. Uh, but in terms of the deck itself, like, uh, you are on top deck mode a lot, and if you are lucky... You win, and sometimes you're not lucky, and you draw a whole crap load of mana. Uh, Teferi was actually quite good against Saga today. The one time Teferi went into play against Saga, it bounced the Saga before there was a token, and it was actually very, very good. Uh, so I'm going to have to say that 
you know, it's sometimes good against Saga. The big thing is Teferi is incredibly good against Flusterstorm, and people's main choice of interaction is typically Flusterstorm right now, so I think Teferi uh, makes a lot of sense uh, if you're expecting to go up against a Flusterstorm meta. Um, but yeah, this deck's cool. This deck's sweet. I think there's definitely room to tune this to get a little tighter. I just didn't have a lot of time tuning this week uh, with the Pro Tour next weekend. Um, so... Thank you for watching. If you're here and new to the channel, this is the place to be for vintage. Uh, if you're looking to see more vintage, there's a YouTube as well. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I would appreciate that and it will help me grow the channel. Um, I will be practicing this week to go to, to play the Pro Tour. The Pro Tour is next Friday. So I should still do my vintage stream on Wednesday. Uh, but I will probably, I will, if I make day two of the Pro Tour, I will not stream the Saturday challenge. Uh, but historically, I have not made day two of the Pro Tour. So. Uh, there's definitely a chance that Vintage will be happening next Saturday as planned. Uh, so definitely keep a lookout um, for that. And I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your weekend. And uh, have a good one.